Crazy ideas require crazy motion graphics, so today's tutorial is gonna provide you with a handful of crazy title animations to help you stand out in a crazy marketplace. Hey, this is Jordan Bertone, Sonduck Film. I hope you're having a terrific, but not so crazy day. Of course, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps us out with that crazy YouTube algorithm. Now I'm sure you're sick of hearing the word crazy, so let's dive in and make something crazy. All right, so in this first technique, we'll be creating this crazy stacked 3D cube of text, and you'll actually be surprised by how simple it is to do. So to start out, we have our text layer that we want to use and a basic white solid background. And the first thing we'll do is highlight them, right click, select pre-compose. We'll name it title, then click OK. Now double click the pre-comp to open it. Go up to composition, composition settings, then decrease the width and height until the comp wraps around our text like this, then click OK. Highlight the pre-comp, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, name this pre-comp to Write, go up and make sure Snapping is enabled, select the Pan Behind tool, then click and drag the anchor point of the pre-comp until it snaps to the left side like this. Now, click and drag this pre-comp until it snaps to the right side of the first one. Enable the layer as a 3D layer. Press R for rotation and set the Y rotation to negative 90 degrees. Next, duplicate the first pre-comp again. Rename this duplicate to left. Select the pan behind tool. Then move the anchor point until it snaps to the right side like this. Click and drag the pre-comp until it snaps to the left side of the first one. Enable the layer as a 3D layer. Press R for rotation. Then set the Y rotation to 90 degrees. Now duplicate the first pre-comp one more time. Rename this one to Back. Highlight it, then go to Layer, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Enable the layer as a 3D layer. Press P for Position. Then set the Z position to 1000. This value might be different for you depending on what the width of your pre-comp is when we resized it earlier. Lastly, rename the first pre-comp to front, enable it as a 3D layer, highlight all of the pre-comps, right click, select pre-compose, we'll name this to title band, then click OK. This is what it should look like so far, and next up we're going to start building the full 3D cube, but first let's take a look at the pulse pack. If you like the style of motion graphics in this video and you want a quick and easy way to add them to your projects with the click of a button, check out our brand new pulse pack. It includes over 150 stylized motion graphics to enhance your projects and make them stand out. With our easy to use Atom X extension, all you have to do is find a graphic you like and hit apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can easily customize the composition with our simple to use control layers and edit the different elements to fit your needs. And just like that, you have a stunning custom composition to use in your projects. This deal is so good, you're losing money if you don't buy it. Check out the link in the description or visit sonduckfilm.com for more info. Now that we have our 3D band of text, we'll continue by enabling it as a 3D layer, and then enable continuously rasterize. Highlight the pre-comp, press the A key, set the Z value to 500, and again, this will change depending on the width of the initial pre-comp. We're setting it to be half of the width, so the anchor point will be in the center of the band. Next, go to Layer, New, Null Object, Enable it as a 3D layer, highlight it, press the A key, and set the Z value to 1000 depending on your width. Now press R for rotation, hold down the Alt key and click the stopwatch for Y rotation, then type in time asterisk 20 into the expression controls panel so that it constantly rotates, then parent the precomp to the null layer so that it rotates as well. Now we're going to stack everything, so duplicate the pre-comp, press P for position, decrease the Y value until it stacks on top of the first, press R for rotation, and set the Y rotation to 30 degrees. Duplicate that pre-comp, drag the position to stack it on top of the last one, then set the rotation of this one to 8 degrees. Now duplicate the first pre-comp, select the bottom pre-comp, now increase the Y value of its position so it goes underneath of the last one. Press R for rotation and set the Y rotation to 30 degrees. 
Duplicate that pre-comp one last time. Select the bottom pre-comp. Drag its position to be underneath of the last and set the Y rotation to 8 degrees. Lastly, we're going to create a camera and light source. So start by going to Layer, New, Camera, click OK. Then go to Layer, New, Light, and click OK again. Highlight the camera, select the Dolly tool, then click and drag backwards until the text cube is a nice size in the center of the comp like this. Now highlight the light, press P for position, then decrease the Z value for position to about negative 3500 so it's really far back from our shape. Open the light layer, open light options, set the intensity to 260%, set the radius to about 2000, and the fall off distance to around 3300. And now you have this crazy stacked 3D rotating cube of text. For this next technique, we're going to make this crazy 3D tunnel of text. So here we have the text layer we want to use. We have the text repeated three times because it's going to be wrapping around into a circle shape. Start by selecting the ellipse tool. Make sure that the text layer is highlighted. Hold down the shift and control keys, then click and drag from the center of the composition to make a big circle mask. Now open the text layer. Open Path Options, set the path to Mask 1, set Reverse Path to On. You might need to adjust the tracking of your text layer to get it to all line up properly. Hold down the Control key and double click the Pan Behind tool to center the anchor point, then press R for rotation, Alt click the stopwatch for rotation, and type in Time Asterisk 20 into the Expression Controls panel. Now we're going to create a feathering effect by going to Layer, New, Solid, set the color to black or whatever your background color is, then click OK. Select the Ellipse tool, make sure the solid is highlighted, then hold down Ctrl and Shift again and click and drag from the center of the composition until it's about halfway through the text layer. Next, in the Mask options, make sure to enable the Inverted checkbox then increase the feathering until you have this nice fading effect on the top of your text. Now highlight both of the layers, right click them, select Precompose, we'll name this Precomp Circle, then click OK. Enable the Circle Precomp as a 3D layer, and what we're going to do is duplicate it, select the bottom Precomp, press P for position, then increase the Z value of its position by 250. Continue to repeat this step over and over until you have this long tunnel of text form just like this. Now go to Layer, New, Null Object, parent all of the precoms we just made to the Null Object, highlight the Null, press P for Position, set a keyframe, and set the X value to 1300. Move forward to the end of your timeline, set the X value to 600, Highlight the keyframes, then press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes. And now you have this crazy moving 3D tunnel of text. This technique can be used in many other ways as well. Here we have this same text layer but on a waving path instead of a circular path, stacked on top of each other to create this cool effect. And here we have that same wave but instead of stacking it we rearranged it and rotated it at different angles to create this cool lacing effect. Experiment with different paths and different arrangements to create your own crazy and unique effects like these. As you may know, we love to create out of the box ideas on this YouTube channel. So if you like these types of concepts, be sure to subscribe to the Sonduck Film YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. You can hit us up on our Instagram, we have After Effects content on there as well, and remember, always be creating.